So this is one of my favorite places to hunt. I've got lots of reasons it's my favorite. Number one is honestly just the fact that it's convenient. It's really close to home. The other reason is I love the crystal clear water. In the summer, it's full of furrow goldfish and crawdads that we can catch. Also in the winter, we catch a lot of muskrats here. So the lake flows, uh, the water flows out of this crystal clear lake and it, go down, it goes down in this drain. The water flows from this drain underground down through this little play area. And a lot of times fish will swim through the grate and end up down here. In the summer you'll find crayfish and uh, furrow goldfish and all kinds of things. They'll swim down and they'll be down here in amongst the rocks. Now, it's kind of funny, I've made videos here in the past of my mink catching goldfish. Some people have asked about why I catch the goldfish. Alright, take a look at this, a goldfish invasion. Goldfish are a furrow invasive species just like carp that actually car cause a lot of harm to our natural ecosystem. But silly people will get pet goldfish and just turn them loose in the waterways and they breed like crazy and take over. Our state specifically and pretty much every state in the country have a war against these uh, furrow goldfish because of the problems they cause. But also they're good mink food and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun for the mink. So we were actually here just yesterday and uh, we were fishing up in the big lake and Mamba worked real hard. She caught a couple fish in the reeds, but it wasn't really worth showing you guys because you didn't get to see anything. It was just her coming out of the reeds with a fish. So we're not going to show you that footage. However, while I was here yesterday on our way out, after Mamba was done eating and tired, I thought, hey, let's quickly check this little pool to see if there's any fish. And lo and behold, there's a great big goldfish. So we're going to see if we can catch that today with Mamba and uh, wish us luck. Sometimes, uh, Sometimes the big fish are big for a reason. They're smart and they've learned to survive. So this fish might be kind of tricky or it might be just embarrassingly easy. We'll just have to see what happens. Ready to go Mamba, huh? As soon as we release Mamba, she immediately jumps into the water and goes to work looking for fish. Mamba really is a good little fishing mink. She has some great instinct as well as just a natural ability that a lot of other mink don't have. There's a fish. She seems to be a faster, stronger swimming mink than most of the other mink I've had in the past. Oh, she's catching fish now. Chasing. Yeah, I saw something. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I just saw another fish come out. Yeah. There's a bunch of fish. A big one, too, just like that one. Humongous. Oh, she caught one. She got one already. Oh, wow. yeah. What is that? Over here, Mamba. I've trained Mamba that whenever she catches something, she needs to bring it back to me and put it either in or near her little box. I then trade her for some pre prepared ground up muskrat meat. I then take whatever she's caught and put it in the freezer for a while before preparing it for mink food. Just like when we eat sushi, it's far better if it's frozen first, that way most of the parasites are killed off. In the wild, roughly half of a mink's diet comes from water-based prey like fish, crayfish, and frogs. They're able to locate their prey underwater, both by using their vision as well as feeling around under the water with their whiskers. She caught a crawfish. Oh no, a fish, a little tiny fish. Yeah, there's many fish. There's a lot of fish here.
Oh, she saw another one. She's going after another one. Yeah. She lost it though. <laughs> Mama. Oh wow, there's a bunch of big ones down here. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a bunch. When hunting and fishing with my mink, I like to alternate between letting the mink work on their own and figure it out for themselves, and working as a team with me showing them what I see. She need to get outside. She let the fish go. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh, get the fish, you bird. Yeah, that was my fault for setting you up for failure. <laughs> Too hard to catch. That was pretty easy. <laughs> Take a look at that. It's a pretty good sized goldfish.